there's one. Uh, I think this is a flathead here. Gonna be my first fish of the day. Coming out of this low clear water. Mm, that's a flathead. Just have to tie it up in my other line. There we go. Hmm. All right, first fish. Not a monster. That's a flathead, though. And uh, that's uh, that's pretty good for how clear it is, how low the water is, middle of the day. Get that tiny chunk of trout. It's probably about five pounds or so. Skuko flathead. I'll let it go. Number one. Let's try to get another. Yeah, that's a piece of trout he ate. Tiny, tiny, tiny piece of trout. So I'm gonna put a fresh piece on, cast back out. So this is the bait we're working with. Caught this trout about an hour ago. Uh, very fresh. Just taking these scissors, cutting off little chunks. Going with the small chunks. Trout is uh, really packed with protein and kind of fatty. Very good catfish bait. I'm using a six out Gamagatsu circle hook. Going in here, out there. It's really tough too. Trout is really tough. The skin, like you only barely need to hook it and it'll stay on there for a long time. Uh, so there you go, some nice fresh trout. Give that a cast. Get it out there. So if you think about flathead catfish and catfish in general, you usually think that uh, you have to fish at night or uh, maybe when the water is high and muddy, uh, etc. Uh, right now the water is really clear, it's really low, and the sun is shining, it's really bright outside, no clouds, nothing even close to being overcast. Uh, so what I've done is I've come to a spot that's like a big hole, basically starting from about 100 feet behind that bridge those bridge pilings down to maybe uh 100 200 feet down river of me right here there's a big bowl a big cutout and it's deeper relatively deeper than the rest of the river uh, in this area so i'm casting out into probably eight or nine feet of water whereas up there i don't know if you'll be able to see but it's all rapids and shallow and rocky up there it's only a foot or two deep for a good distance upstream. And then downstream, you're gonna be looking at two, three, four feet of water for a good distance. Uh, so this is the deepest water we've got here within a mile. So it only makes sense that the flatheads are stacked up in here during the daytime, during these low water conditions, bright sunny day conditions. So I'm just kind of hitting the holes, trying to pull them out of their holes. And uh, cut bait seems to be pretty effective. Live bait would work too, but um, if you throw cut bait, I mean, you've got a good chance of getting whatever flathead is in here, also whatever channel cats are in here. So, I don't know, I like cut bait. I did bring my little rod with the trap magnet to try to catch some sunnies. Uh, so I might throw some live bait if I can get some sunnies. But for now, I'm just throwing the chunks of trout. And, uh, yeah, I've been here for a half hour and that's the first fish. So, I don't know, we'll see what the rest of the, the session brings here. Hopefully a couple more. Right, so I've got a setup here that's a little beefier. Uh, I've got a little heavier braid on here, heavier shock leader, three ounce weight, nine knot circle hook, 
and uh, I'm gonna try throwing this uh, trout head out. Get this for you. This guy right here. You know, try throwing a bigger bait. A small flathead, four or five pounds. I'll have no problem engulfing this, but hopefully it draws the attention of something bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and cast that out. See if there's anything out there that wants to eat the trout head. That's that trout head. Trout head is getting a long run here. Yeah, looks like he dropped it. Nope, he still got it. Still got it. This circle hook, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let him set the hook himself. I'm not even going to reel or anything. I'm just going to let him go. He's still on it. Still swimming with it. All right, I'm just gonna reel slow. Kind of set that hook in there. All right, there he is. There's a fish on the trout head. It's actually pretty slow. It's been about 20 minutes, 30 minutes since that last little bite I had on this trout head. It's not real hot, but that's uh, kind of to be expected, these conditions. This fish is a decent size. Decent sized flathead. It's flopping around out there. getting him. He's coming. He's fighting on the surface. He's supposed to fight on the bottom. Yeah, he's up on the surface. He'll be a little bigger than the last one. I'm trying to set my, uh, my goals low today. You know, fishing on a day like today, you really can't expect much. A couple, a couple flatheads like that. Uh, that's not bad. Look at that. Look at that trout chunk. Let's get a better look here. So I didn't bring a scale with me. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, I don't like to uh, weigh every fish. I mean, I usually only weigh the big ones. This one's probably uh, nine pounds, ten pounds. I'd call it ten pounds, give or take. It's uh, not anything spectacular, but hey, I mean, these conditions, you know, you got to take what you can get. So yeah, I'll take that. That's all right. It's still early in the day, early in the evening, I should say. Uh, it's about 4.30. And uh, yeah, I've been here since 3 o'clock, and this is now my second fish. So go ahead and release her. some way. Look at that way it blends in with those rocks. It looks exactly like those rocks. It's great. All right. Not bad, not bad. All right, it's uh, 4.53 right now. I'm going to fish here for another 20 minutes or so, make a move to a reservoir. That's about uh, an hour away from here. Meet up with uh, my buddy Romo. Try to catch some bigger fish. We're going to target bigger flatheads, you know, fish late into the night. Uh, Romo hasn't caught any 30 pound flatheads this year and we're trying to change that we need to get him a 30 pound flathead flathead before the season's over so we're gonna go out there and hopefully you know Romo can get a 30 pounder uh, that's gonna be one of our last ditch efforts for big fish this year season is winding down we still got a little ways to go but other species of fish are gonna be getting real good soon and I'm not gonna have much patience to be doing a lot of flathead fishing so yeah, this will be one of our last ditch efforts at Big Fish this year, out the reservoir. So that should be a little more interesting. Cut that rainbow trout. 
Someone with a flapper rig. Oh man. Maybe you should just leave that spine in there. Yeah, I think I should. Just go triple flapper. It can't hurt, right? No, it can't hurt anything. Cut that tail off though. Yeah. So that way you get that flapping. Flappered trout. Right. Flap. Right. Oh. Right. That's what that's what you need right there. That's good bait. Good gator bait. <laughs> All these gators that are in this lake. That's where we're at. Lake Minnetonka. Just as it's getting dark. Let's see what's lurking out there. That's a that's a run there. That's a run there, Romo. Oh, he's looking for his big fish of the year. That's what you're looking for. Wow. Looking, looking for a 30. Big bait. You're just going to let him run? A little bit. I don't feel anything. Oh. Man. Damn. Man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 0 oh for 1. That was, that was a run, yeah, phantom run, ghost run. Sonny, he looks totally untouched. What? I mean, obviously something had him. Little little mark right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn. That's great. Interesting. All right, good, good run, though. Wow. Look at this bat. Look at that bat. Just flew into our line. It was right. Look at that bat. I'm gonna get in there. So what are the odds he bites us? He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Oh, he's not. He's not aggressive. He's just a little... Let's see if he bites this leaf. Nah. He's alright. I don't think he's gonna bite. Woo! Look at that bat. He's out of breath. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa! Taking off. There he goes. Yeah, there's a sign from the fish gods right there. Definitely gonna get some big fish after that. Definitely. That sucker. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. That's a fish. He's not bad. Oh, he's pulling drag. Yeah. He might be big, dude. He feels all right. Be a doll and grab him for me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, good. Nice. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. His teeth. Yeah, I got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, I got a scale. I'm gonna weigh that bad boy right there. Probably not 30, but he's a nice one. He a nice one. We got kilograms here. 2.2. Here, you want to uh, either get ready to scale them? Good. Is it under? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, take it out. Take it out. Here. Now get it. Got it. Kilograms. 13 and a half kilograms. 13 and a half times 2.2. Fatty. Look at that fatty. Real fat, man. Real fat. N not even that long, just fat as Ooh, fat as hell. 25 pounds. Yeah. Let me do some quick math here. 
13 and a half times 2.2. Ooh, 29.7. 20. Oh, damn, he got me so bad. All right. 29.7. First fish. Hell yeah. 8 11 p.m. Son. This is pretty much what that last one just ate. Just under 30. These suckers. 12 inch suckers. That's gonna be about the best bait you can get for these flatheads. Doesn't matter where you're at. Flatheads love suckers. So do muskies. So I got these 9 knot owner SSW circle hooks. I cut that dorsal fin off this sucker. I just real gently hook it through the the back like that, I'm trying to leave as much hooks exposed as I can. That back right over here. Let's give it the old gentle lob right out there. Gentle lob. Just like that. Probably 20 yards off the bank. Maybe eight feet of water out there. Water temp's still 75. This is still like pretty much a summertime pattern here. Just let that sit. On the flapper trout, you got that flapper trout. It's all about timing. You gotta figure out when to set the hook on that fish. What are we looking at? I don't can't tell. Don't feel anything. Don't feel anything. Yeah. Oh, for two. Like a weird, it must be turtles. It could be turtles. Carrying it off, you know? As soon as you reel in, there's like no resistance. He swam with it pretty good though. Oh, it's a freaking oh, eel! Whoa! Look at that eel. Look at that freaking eel. Monster. Monster. Do you, do you want him or should we release him? Big eel. Oh, sucked all. He got one, one third of the flapper out of that trout. Sucked all the flap out of it. Damn. Oh, it's all up here. I see. I see. Damn. Big eel. Big eel. All right. So we're fishing out here at Blue Marsh Reservoir, uh, nicknamed Lake Minnetonka, and uh, I think this is a panfish enhancement lake. So your crappies, they have to be nine inches. Uh, this one. Definitely is probably about nine and a half inches, just over nine inches. And uh, really good bait. Anything you can get is gonna be good. Nine, 10, 11 inch bait. Yellow perch, they seem to really like yellow perch. Uh, channel cats and flatheads. Good place to, uh, good place to do it right here out of Blue Marsh. So good run right here. Good run right here. Sunny. My God. Look at that chain. Solid chain. It's about on a tape measure. Probably nine, nine pounds. I haven't caught a scoop chanty this big this year. Mm. Just think about this chanty, Romo. You want to eat it? It'll be good to eat. I'm gonna release it. Damn. I'm gonna 
that crappy. Got them on the crappy. He hit the crappy. I'm saying channel cat. I'm thinking channel cat. Yeah, that's a channel cat. Another pretty nice one. Another pretty nice one. Nice seven or eight pound channel cat. He ate a crappy too, about a nine inch crappy. Live crappy. Chaney, he's hungry. He's on a mission right now, he's gonna find it. He's gonna get it. Uh-huh, a little further. A little further, there you go. So, probably like a 50 pound snap and turtle. Yeah, we threw out a uh, 15 inch largemouth. It was getting a run, but then we remembered it was a largemouth. So I think it's just a largemouth running. However, over here, if you look over here to the starboard side, we've got a uh, snapper. Snapper came to see what, what, what all the commotion was. Look at that snapper. Look at that snapper. He's like waiting. So we have the sucker tied to a rope. He's got his mouth open and everything. Oh, he's aggressive, dude. He's gonna. He's look at him. Oh. <laughs> That is one hungry snapper. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit, dude! Oh my god. Come back for that, snapper. Damn. Yeah. We saw him a little earlier. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Alright, we're going for the top water. Top water snapper. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, got him. Got him. Here he comes. Come on up. Welcome to the crib, Mr. Turtle. Yeah. You like that. He likes that sucker. This is a brilliant, brilliant creature. This one's real smart. You can tell he's smart by the way he doesn't let go. That's a smart turtle. He's been around the block a few times. He ain't letting go. Oh, he got it! Damn it! Damn it! Dang. That turtle outsmarted me. Look at him. Just sitting there. He's gonna be here all night. Yeah, the catfishing is slow. Slow on the catfish front, but good turtle action. Alright, that's a wrap. One flathead, two channels, an eel, snap a turtle, bat. Solid day. Solid day of fishing. See you next time.